Transforming people, transforming cities. Manor Mission Church invites you to the Gospel Transforms Life. Proverbs 11 verse 1 says, a false balance, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. But a just weight is his delight. Proverbs 11 verse 1. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord. But a just weight is the delight of the Lord. What does it mean when the scripture says a false balance? A false balance is an abomination to the Lord. If you look at the way God created this, he created two ears for us. If we have only one ear, we will not be able to balance. He gave us two eyes. Both eyes don't function the same. But could you imagine if God gave us only one eye? He gave only one eye over here. And he put one ear over here and removed the other one. He gave us one nose, but there are two nostrils. They function differently. Look at when your nose blocks, how you feel. Can you imagine if God gave you only one hand and didn't give you? You just look at every pair you have. You have two feet. Supposing God gave you only one, you will be hopping, isn't it? You will not be able to walk. So God himself, he hated a false balance. So how does this apply? There are many who are in balance, physically, spiritually, mentally, psychologically. In the past, during the time the Bible were, was being written, they used to do all their merchandising with balance skills before this technological world came they used to have a way of measuring things some of you have done measures at school now when you go to buy things they have electronic skills you put your things on it will tell you the weight and what you should pay in the old time they don't have the facilities we have they have weights which are set on two sides. One is over here and the other one is over there. So there is something in the middle holding this thing at the top and there are two weights over there. So if you want to sell something for someone and the person say, let's say I want two pounds or two kilograms of corn, you put two kilograms of weight on one side and you keep on, if it's rice the person want to buy, you keep on adding the rice on the other side. Once they strike balance, you know that's the weight, the person. And then you tell the person how much. But some people were crooked. They were wicked. They thought they were smart. They want to cheat people. So they started using other means to buy. So they have a different skill to buy so that they can cheat the person they are buying from. And they have another one for selling. And God said, you have to be fair. I hate what you are doing. This is imbalance. Now, there was a story in this country many years back of a baker who sued a farmer over underselling him a pound of butter that she uses to bake her bread. She said, this farmer has been cheating me. Please listen. I'm giving you the foundation before we continue the scriptures. So this baker took the case to court and said, I have noticed that before when I started buying my butter from this farmer, he used to sell me exactly a pound in weight. But with time, he has changed. Now, when I weigh the butter, it is one quarter short of a pound. So that's why 
I'm bringing the case to the court. So the court look at the story. And this man was caused first, and he said it. He brought a sample of the last butter he bought from this farmer, put it before the court, and the court weighed it, and indeed, it was three quarter of a pound. So they asked the farmer, why did you do this? This is not a pound. And the farmer says, sir, I want to say something. I used to sell to this baker with the precise amount, weight. But I also buy bread from him. And the bread I buy is supposed to be a pound in weight. But with time, I saw that whenever I buy the bread from him and I put it on my scale, it doesn't weigh a pound. But he sells it to me at the price of a pound. So any time I go to buy bread from him, I buy two. We eat one, I keep one. And when he's coming to buy butter from me, I use his bread to measure for him. So if he's saying, I am underselling him, I'm now pay, charging him for a pound worth of butter by giving him short. Let's prove it now. I'm paying him in his own coin. I've not cheated him. This is an example of a bread I bought from him recently. They look at it, they give it to this baker. They said, look at it, is that your bread? He said, yes, okay. They said, put that on the scale. They put it on the scale and it was three quarter <laughs> of a pound. And they said, put the butter that you recently bought from this farmer on there. They put it on there and they were balanced. And they said to the baker, you are the one who is defrauding the society. He said he's selling to you according to the way you have been selling to him. And they are balanced. So if you want to get a full pound of butter from him, then sell him a bread worth of a pound. Give the Lord a clap of friend. There are many people who are cheating God and they're expecting a blessing from God. Remember Proverbs 11, 1. Let us all read it again. Let's read it together. Say, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. Say it again. But a just, a just weight is his delight. In what ways are we falsely balanced when it comes to the things of God? Let's check our lives. What are we expecting from God? Are we balanced? Are we balanced in working for him? Are we balanced in our prayer life? Are we balanced in our finances? Are we balanced in our relationship with each other? A false balance is an abomination to the Lord.